It's uh, Alvin from Priceline Pharmacy West Brunswick and today we're going to talk about hay fever. So as I film this video, hay fever has hit us with a vengeance and we're kind of in this unique position, unfortunately, where we've got the flu still rampant and now we've got hay fever added on top onto our health worse. So, um, but the good thing is we don't need to suffer from our hay fever. There are so many treatment options that our pharmacists can go th through with you. And uh, of course, treatment options are based on the medication that you're taking, any other medical conditions that you might have, your specific symptoms. There's a whole host of ways that we can go about treating it. What I'm gonna go through is just the basic overview, but I really encourage you to come in and speak to one of our pharmacists and we can tailor the treatment for you. So the first thing that we, that we do is put you on some antihistamine tablets. Uh, there's a quite an array of antihistamine tablets and our pharmacists will determine the right ones for you. Quite often, a lot of people find that they need to cycle through their antihistamine tablets. So we can set up a treatment plan for you on how to do that. And uh, the reason that we might need to cycle through them is that you know, after a while, a lot of people find that um, after using antihistamines, a particular type for one month, uh, it stops working after that. It's just a common, common thing that happens in most people, unfortunately. So once we've got your tablet sorted, we always recommend that you use a nasal spray. So there are like three, four different types of nasal sprays that you can use. Um, there are corticosteroids type nasal sprays, there are antihistamine nasal sprays, there are saline nasal sprays. Quite often we usually start with a steroid based nasal spray and this may have some negative connotations but if you speak to our pharmacist we can put through, you know, um, end those negative connotations that you may have. Um, all of these nasal sprays have particular side effects that, uh, that might stop uh, us from recommending it to you so please come in and speak to us. Generally what we like to do is use a, a saline nasal spray first to help clear off any excess pollen that may be in your nasal passages. It's also really good at rehydrating your nasal passages and then we like to use a steroid uh, nasal spray on top of that and that just allows um, the, the spray to work much, much better. Um, and then of course during the day if you've got breakthrough, really congestion and runny nose, um, uh, we can add like an antihistamine nasal spray on top and sometimes a traditional standard nasal decongestant. Um, so we've got tablets, nasal sprays. The other thing that's pretty bad also is can be your eyes. You can get uh, some allergic conjunctivitis. There's a whole array of eye drops we can use. Um, so come and speak to us and we can give you the right one uh, to use. And of course, the last thing is there are preventative options as well. So from probiotics, to putting yourself, course, uh, uh, putting yourself uh, on a course of quercetin, um, uh, garlic, horseradish, marshmallow, all this crazy stuff that we can use. But come in and speak to us and we can determine the right one for you. As always, if you have any questions below, we will do our best to answer them. And please make sure that you like and share this video. And remember to always seek medical advice and consult your healthcare professional if your symptoms persist. Thank you.